Hello friends, this is Milani Hajunsu. Welcome to my channel which is all about enhancing what you have. Today we are going to review Pony Effect Powder Touch Lip Lacquers. It comes in 8 shades but I bought only 6 because I am broke. These lip lacquers come in the usual Pony Effect packaging that is navy blue and gold. It has a very reflective gold foil on the packaging almost like a mirror. It claims that sleek lacquer boosts soft texture, lightweight adherence and highly pigmented color payoff. Contains silk amino acid and rosehip extract to moisturize lips as well as silky powder that creates a blurring effect and a matte powdery finish. The shade color, name and number is mentioned on the bottom of each lip lacquer. Each lip lacquer has the same color of tube as the shade itself, so it is easier to recognize the shade in my stash. These lip lacquers come in a sleek matte tube with pony effect written in glossy text. The wand is a sleek wand and is a little bent back as well. The first shade Dream It is an elegant pinkish red reminiscent of wild roses. These shades have spongy, cloud-like texture. It is rich in texture but lightweight at the same time. It for sure has blurring and smoothening effect. It has a strong smell like floral perfumes, which I am not a fan of to be honest, but it's a good option for people who want to kiss because the smell remains on your lips for hours. It is very buttery in texture and spreads evenly on lips without any additional tools. That's how it looks as a gradient and that's how it looks as full lips. It is giving raspberry, cranberry vibes. I have quite dry lips and it isn't accentuating it which is great. These lacquers aren't sticky but it moves on your lips if you apply it a lot as it doesn't dry as much. It does transfer a little but still my lip color doesn't look uneven, it looks even at all times, even when I'm drinking or eating. It doesn't make lips look wrinkly after few hours as well. That is the tint it leaves on the lips and it doesn't dries out my lips either. It stays put on the lips for up to 4-5 to five hours. 003 Like It is a beige rose color with sweet warmth to it. These tints don't accentuate dead skin on your lips as well, at least for me. In fact, it smoothens and blurs it. That's how one layer gradient looks like of 003 and that's how full lips look with it. It looks quite even, even after the transfer. That's the color of the tint it leaves. 005 Unlock It is a nude beige color with brown undertone to it. It is one of my favorite colors. That's how it looks as a gradient. That's how it looks as full lips. Lovely. I look so good here. These tints transfer on wet wipes more than on anything else. And that's the tint it leaves. 006 Love It is a warm red color that I think will suit any skin color. In fact, all these shades would suit any skin tone or color. But I just said this because red is always a hit or miss. So that's the gradient of Love It. And these are the full lips. This red can be a little patchy after the transfer. Double Zero Seven Enjoy It is a cheerful brick orange color. 
These lacquers are quite comfortable on the lips to be honest, especially if you wear lipstick for long hours. So that's how the gradient looks with it. And these are the full lips with enjoy it. Transfer test. And that's the tint it leaves on the lips. 008 Burnet is a more deeper color than 007. It is a brown color with hint of orange. These lip lacquers have mousse like texture, and all these shades are MLBB color, my lips but better colors, inspired by the rose petal tones. The colors are rich with decent layerable pigmentation. That's how the gradient looks with Burnet. That's how the full lips look. All these colors would complement any skin tone, trust me. These lip lacquers are so lightweight that I forget that I have something on my lips. The only thing that I don't like is that it transfers a bit even on my cups or glasses. So I will rate this 4.5 by 5 and will definitely recommend it to all of you. Minus 0.5 for the transfer. Bye bye.